गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन Uh, I welcome you all to uh, today's morning session. Unfortunately, there was some issue joining in the session initially for, for the resource person. Nonetheless, we're here, and we have today the pleasure of having uh, Dr. Manpreet Kaur, ma'am, is assistant professor, division of agronomy, SCOST, Jammu. Uh, and the topic chosen by ma'am for deliberation is livestock-based integrated farming system models for different agroclimatic zones of India, vis-a-vis doubling -vis farming farmers' income. I'll be handling the presentation from ma'am and uh, ma'am will be delivering lecture uh, from her device. Uh, ma'am, you're, you're, uh, you're audible. Please continue. Can you start? Dr. Manpreet. Hello? Please try. Ma'am Anpreet, you can turn on your microphone. Good morning to all. Am I audible now? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Manpreet Kaur here. Now I am starting with my topic, livestock based integrated farming system models for different agroclimatic zones of India vis-a-vis -vis double farming's income. Now, uh, let me introduce you with my topic. Why is the need of IFS? What is happening? Uh, next, uh, moving toward the introductory slide that we in India having a majority of small and marginal uh, holding farmers having holdings uh, under two hectares and it's uh, their population is increasing and it has reached more than 86 percent and whereas in uh, uh, 2010-11 they have been 84 but they have they in 15-16 survey they have been increased also our operational holding size is decreasing due to fragmentation because uh, uh, we the, due to population explosion also this is the reason and uh, our 2015-16 uh, uh, survey, the uh, agricultural land holding size for India is just 1.08 hectare, whereas uh, in 70s, it is more than 2 hectare. So fragmented land holding is the, is the one reason. Uh, uh, similar is the case of the states and uh, UTs where the average uh, agricultural land holding size is now decreasing. So, due to this fragmentation holding, what is happening as we have a majority of small and marginal farmers, the alternate type of agriculture, alternate type of land use pattern should be introduced because our farmers due to small and marginal, they are, they are not so much resourceful, they are poor, they are, uh, they are um, uh, uh, poor and they have no much capital that they um, use it and without and the um, what we say the msps and all that no no the uh, trend is changing and msp government is uh, government is thinking about msp to fix them but uh, still the scenario is like that and uh, we are uh, the farmers are facing poverty food insecurity undernourished problems are there and uh, further these problems are aggravated due to climate change so these problems have uh, made, we have to focus on what different alternate land use system should be used for sustainability. This is the reason we are going for different alternate land use systems. And one alternate land use system is this IFS. Moving towards next slide, it has been, the, this is the scenario of India 
institutional held, holdings they are decreasing this uh, table tell us about the 15 16 detailed uh, sensors where the operational holding size are decreasing next table about land holding size of our uh, ut jammu kashmir where it has been seen that the mar the uh, population of marginal farmers has been 83% and um, then uh, uh, it's uh, after that followed by small uh, then semi medium like this this is the scenario and next so different uh, major uh, problems are already discussed with you that the main main problems of uh, farmers and we people are food insecurity is the main problem climate change is the main problem fragmented land holding is the main uh, problem and uh, due to a uh, lack input availability there is an uh, uh, also problem of how to make available these inputs this is the problem agriculture growth rate is declining during the uh, 60s and 70s when there is an era era of green revolution then we have made some changes we have introduced new varieties and we have used more what we say fertilizers chemical fertilizers no doubt they have increased our productivity at that time and uh, we have uh, we are able to uh, feed our population but what now the the things are now becoming stagnant the chemicals we have used and we are continuously using from that time has make our water bodies our uh, earth our uh, uh, environment polluted as well as climate change is there and emission more emission of greenhouse gases is there and there is a risk and moreover due to more uh, dependency of uh, on inputs there is a increase in the cost of production whereas the farmers due to more uh, uh, more in um, more using cost of production and less getting productivity they are facing the low form income and what is the solution there are many solution and the main solution is that we have to go for some alternate land use system for sustainability and one of that solution is ifs if we talk about integrated farming system it is just the solution of the problem one of the solution we can use also ifs and for our uh, fragmented holding this is i think um, one of the best solution in indian farming scenario this is under different agroecological and different subtropical zones we have to go for that moving towards next slide uh, what is ifs if is just a judicious mixing of two or more components and it's based on the principle that they are the the enterprises they are facing uh, less competition and they should have maximum complementarity and uh, uh, but they are uh, able to use advanced agronomic management tools so that we lead to sustainable with maintaining our food security income security nutritional security as well as environmental security these is the main goals main principles on which the ifs should be based so we can say that we have to revolutionize no conventional system conventional farming by adding more enterprises like livestock aquaculture the livestock based we have to make our conventional system on livestock based na um uh, system like we have to introduce some renewment the more promising enterprises next please and uh, this is uh, so if we talk about the concept main concept where uh, where it differ with other uh, alternate land use system is that in a uh, farming system there is an arrangement of recycling that is an important thing which differ it from other system where there is a recycling that its by product is used as an input already i have discussed that major problem we are facing is that there is an depletion of input the farmers are not getting inputs at the time so this is the major problem how to get these inputs you know so this solution is by ifs the byproduct of one can be used as an input i will explain it late in the later slides also so what it ha what happens when we are not dependent on chemical inputs when we are not dependent on the uh, uh, outside inputs what happen we we ultimately we reduced our cost of cultivation when our cost of cultivation reduced and what happened our profitability increased and 
and more ever by uh, using more organic component when there is an era of climate change and the main thing is we have to maintain the organic carbon carbon sequestration is there and when we are using by using ifs models when there is an uh, generation of more organic inputs in the form of fertilizers in the form of agrochemicals and what is happening we are adding organic carbon indirectly and it also help to mitigate climate change and ultimately there is an increase in the income of a farm and also more engagement of family labors because around the year food is generated there and so it leads to economic stability so uh, so on uh, the next slide it has been discussed that so it already been discussed that why if it why ifs is needed there are a lot of reason why ifs is needed because uh, we have we are facing because we see that we are india is divided into different agroecological zones agroclimatic zones and what is um, happening we are facing biotic and abiotic stresses biotic stress and abiotic stress always there and there is an also risk and 64% of our farming is dependent on rains so always there is an association of risk in our farming so what is happening we have to secure our farming and the reason is that we are shifting towards ifs system when different integration of different enterprises have been taken together so it um, uh, another reason uh, why we need it i have already discussed that we are more dependent on input and it reduce the dependency on input moreover our nutritional requirement balanced food because we are adding different enterprises like we are adding crop component in crop we are introducing agroforestry which may, which meet our uh, timber need we introduce horticulture fruit we get crops where we get food grains to fill our stomach and pulses uh, to uh, um, that that are meant uh, that are that are productive in nature productive they uh, they give strength to us so different things in crop component and we are talking about the also dairy component milk cheese uh, whatever in common I dairy we also use uh, this dairy enterprises in there so and when we are using poultry backyard poultry then egg meat and uh, when we are taking fish then uh, apiary is there fish uh, fa uh, this be um, apiary is there when we taking honey bee honey when we uh, when we uh, keeping honey bees and we are getting you know, home made honey that is very uh, nutritional and mushroom are uh, there is a possibility we are rich in proteins and we are getting mushroom around the year by using a straw of wheat or rice we are using mushroom and dingri like na so a, a whole nutritional package is there with low inputs and also when we are recycling the waste when the animal excreta is recycled into vermicompost and farmyard manure then we are also maintaining our soil nutrient health we maintaining soil health by 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 putting again the organic carbon in the soil so all this um, um, ultimately uh, leads to sustainability in the form of economic sustainability social sustainability and environmental sustainability so three pillars of sustainability are there when we talk in the broader sense and all these three pillars are come under this ifs so this is a good agriculture practice so this should be needed this is a need of or so goals next moving to next slide if we talk about the goals main goals main goals is that the we have to maximize the yield of all component for example we are taking different component like crop is one component this is a different enterprise we are using in farming system crops and right? livestock based mostly the livestock component have been introduced and they are more remunerative like we are introducing dairy we are introducing backyard poultry we are introducing duckery fishery apiary sericulture lot of enterprises are there and we have to intervene all the components like we if we talk about the artificial insemination one case and we have to go for the artificial intervention so some powerful interventions are there so that we because uh, the farmer is familiar with the mixed farming since last 
uh, since that uh, since we have we have attained independence the farmer is very much familiar with the mixed farming so some but uh, get confused what is the difference between <coughs> Miss mixed farming and IFS. The main difference is that in IFS we make lot of intervention, scientific interventions are there. If we are go to uh, moving towards uh, crops, then we have to introduce some remunerative crops like uh, um, marigold, French bean. Na uh, these uh, soil remunerative crops also like legumes should be introduced in the rotations. Na we have to keep the things into consideration. Flowers are there, fruits are there, vegetables or Uh, root vegetables, sh shoot vegetable, leaf vegetables, all should be uh, uh, in, uh, into consideration so that the yield of whole component. If we are taking uh, uh, talking about um, 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 uh, livestock, then the artificial in insemination should be there, vaccination should be there, deworming should be there. Na? Feed we have to take care of round the ear fodder uh, in case of animals that they get green fodder throughout the year so these interventions should be there so that all the components get the maximized yield so that the system productivity get regenerate and uh, uh, what happen when we are uh, taking this smart type of agriculture this is also come into smart type of agriculture smart climate agriculture and when when we are uh, taking this what happen we are breaking also our insect pest build up chains we are we are we are breaking the diseases which have been uh, continue if we continuously use crop crop production rice wheat you know maize wheat like we are using sugar cane based crops you know like rice rice in west bengal and sugar cane based in maharashtra these are the cotton based in punjab like different crops na and um, then we are breaking these chains and introducing diversification that, that is one of the main component here because we have to maximize the yield of all the components and then we are also breaking the pest population and so uh, and diseases and maintaining the cropping system we are just we are just uh, uh, enhancing natural farming It's just a natural farming, and uh, thus we, because we are reducing the use of chemicals, and uh, after when we are going for agroforestry, and we are we are supporting the permaculture. Right? So these things happened. So next slide tell us about the determinants. What or uh, how what determines different? Next slide please. IFS determinants are different. Like what is the main objective? What is the objective of a farmer? What is the physical, environmental, social, economic conditions of the farm? Next slide please. Yes, next. One more next. ha huh. no this factor determining type of farming that what enterprises we have to select it depends upon the physical factor climate climate is an important factor because if we talk about the subtropical conditions and the um uh, what we say high hills if we talk about high hills buffaloes can't be introduced there buffaloes are not comfortable there buffaloes cannot be used there and uh, mostly cows they have been used in a dairy in high hills but when we are talking about uh, the um, subtropical conditions then we can use this uh, buffaloes cows like this is the climate variation when we are talking about coastal areas then rice is the main crop when we are talking about the rain fed area then maize pulses oil seeds can be taken so it depends on the climate soil topography what type of Uh, crop and what type of enterprise should be introduced uh, economic factors also uh, what enterprises can be uh, introduced by the farmer his his economic conditions also decide this hai na because if the farmer is theek hai marginal se upar hai if if it is progressive and he is earning something he can go for the better intervention he can go for the drip irrigation sprinkler irrigation he can intervene the things he can go for the better crops remunerative crops na to uske fir after processing he can also add his value by going for the after processing things na like kronda hai to fir kronda ka pickle na like he will go for the pht techniques post harvest techniques ke liye bhi jayega to it depends upon the farmer economic condition when we are introducing some enterprises like marketing cost fir what is the demand of the market about the labor availability if the labor is less then we don't go for the labor uh, consuming crops like uh, 
or near vegetables no? vegetables they are labor consumed because we have to go for the weed management we have go for the earthing up like onion no? so um, so we this depends on the this depends on the uh, uh, the condition that this is the determining of the forming land values consumer demand what the what the type of consumer uh, what is the prevalent pest and diseases there we don't we go for the resistant varieties and resistant cropping system there and what are the social factor what the society allows if the society is vegetarian and the particular person does not go for the non vegetarian things there na he will more his enterprises depend upon the vegetarian things so social factors are there infrastructures marketing facilities uh, 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 and what is the objective if the farmer want to increase uh, to uh, to earn income then he will go for the cash crops and if he if he is is uh, objective is to go for the production then he will go for the rice wheat like which which have a high productivity crops so if we if he has a objective to minimize the cost he will go for the recycling na vermicompost unit is there like so a lot of determinants are there environment is one of also factor next please ha huh. so uh, what are the different uh, uh, factors which decide the nature and size of the enterprises already it has been discussed and same here what is the credit facility here farm size kya hai one hectare marginal farmer hai small farmer hai कौन सा टाइप का फॉर्मर है मार्केटिंग फैसिलिटी कौन सी है क्लाइमेट टेक्नोलॉजीज अवेलेबल है क्या नहीं है वहां पे ना सॉइल टाइप एंड कंडीशन इनकम लेवल क्रेडिट फैसिलिटी नॉलेज नॉलेज जितनी बिकॉज वी आर वी आर गोइंग इट्स अ होलिस्टिक अप्रोच फार्मिंग सिस्टम इज अ होलिस्टिक अप्रोच बिकॉज डिफरेंट क्रॉप कॉम्पोनेट है सो वट हैपन वी हैव टू गो फॉर द मोर स्किल इज रिक्वायर्ड मोर नॉलेज इज रिक्वायर्ड है सो लाइफ स्टॉक बेस्ड आई एफ एस next is next is our livestock livestock based ifs uh, uh, next uh, slide please and different uh, uh, livestock uh, crop dekho crop uh, crop is one of the component crop ho gaya horticulture ho gaya uh, these are the one of the humbug. but different livestock remunerative components should be added like uh, uh, cattle ho gaya aapka buffalo poultry duckery uh, aquaculture apiculture uh, sericulture Uh, using the uh, 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 what is the recycling of animal waste and introducing biogas plants, vermicompost unit, mushroom cultivation unit, and agroforestry. Different things can be introduced in the IFS as an enterprise. If we talk about I have a thing, I have um, one thing I have told you that what what differ it from the mixed farming and another component is that one uh, it's. by product act as an input of other for example if we talk about the cow and we are talk about the rice rice straw rice straw wheat straw is given to the cow and cow excreta is changed into a manure or compost is given back to the crop this is one example another example you can say when there is a fish pond when we we will go azola azola is an fern it it it's fern and it it's rapidly grow it is in, it is very much enriched in protein dry matter basis pe 20 to 25% it has an protein value and when it is given to the when azola is a given uh, put into the pond and azola is taken by the fishes and fish is what fish is fish is excreta make the pond silt very fertile and we can irrigate our crops with that so it's a total recycling nothing is waste one thing what would differ it from another nothing is waste in farming system everything should be precisely and uh, very much judiciously used so that one waste there is no waste there we can say there is no waste there because waste become the input because waste become the resource very economical resource this is the main thing which um uh, uh, alternate from the other system no and uh, our uh, next slide please ha huh. when we are talking about the how it double the farming income that is an important thing and it is clear from these different slides that yes it in every tropical zone the main two agroecological zones of india are rain fed and irrigated and rain fed is a uh, almost 64% area is under rain fed hai na if we talking about different agroecological zones and uh, zone wise we say that 
some there are plains some low land and some uplands are there when we take the study of different uh, areas this is this table is uh, is of up uh, uttar pradesh plain zone and it has been seen um, that when we are we have a 1.4 hectare of land here and we are using crops i have already told you when we are talking about crops then we are making intervention in every enterprise no uh, no we are not taking here when when the crop is in part of an ifs because crop is here is an act like an enterprise so uh, different components of ifs include crop dairy horticulture fishery apiary and it has a land of about 1.4 hectare it divides mostly the crops 50% land comes under crops and you will see that uh, uh, the crops are not more remunerative dairy and uh, livestock based um, uh, enterprises are more remunerative because they they take less space but they give more returns it is clear from here crops uh, almost 0.7 hectare half of the land is under crop and the different cropping system here like uh, um, rice marigold sorghum rice barsim sugar cane onion like these things are used here and it has been seen that uh, when the total comes it has been seen that it reaches about 2 lakhs net return so doubling farmer income means it's doubling the income it sure it doubles the income of the farmer because if crop alone can uh, take it can uh, goes up to 1 lakh zyada se zyada 1 lakhs and it it increase the income when we dif using different enterprises what is happening we are here here crop is taken dairy is taken horticulture is taken uh, fishery is taken hai na fishery fishery to bahut kam space bhi rehti hai na is 0.10 hectare de diya apiary 10 boxes they did they take very less space apiary ho gaya fishery ho gaya because fishery uh, vertical farming ki tarah chalta hai agar fishery niche pond hai then we can make a cage of poultry above duckery above like so that that act as a vertical farming type so these uh, take less space and it they go vertical and they increase the net return double the farming in whether we talk about up plains another another one another paper another uh, next slide please another uh, is uh, then example of rain fed regions of uh, um, chatisgarh and here it has been seen that uh, if crop is given only 1.5 hectare um, of area 1.5 acre of area 0.6 hectare area then what happens it's just uh, generate net income of 7843 only that one and if we are going to increase enterprises now there are different treatments every treatment is containing 1.5 or we can say 0.6 hectare of land and if every um, um, uh, component is added and what we see that that six treatment which we have introduced crops bullocks cows buffaloes ten goats poultry ten ducks and we introduce what it gives it increase our it increase the net returns it double triple the net returns 70000 matlab crops conventionally if we talk because this is an alter land use system we are talking about conventional farming when we are taking only one crops so our main motto is to feed the to fulfill the uh, um, uh, uh, food requirement no our motto have been changed no we have not uh, go for the food requirement because we have go down still with the food now we have to switch to economic stability social stability and environmental stability so this is a better opportunity here to go for these types of remunerative alternate land use system like ifs so whether we are talking about up plains where we whether we are talking about chatisgarh uh, rain fed regions where we go for the goat where we go for the poultry ducks na no, cows buffaloes bullocks we are integrating all them they are complementary in nature and we are increasing more and more you will see na uh, when we are going we are adding one one here here there is a rama uh, this is a paper of ram roy and he is adding one one of the component and ultimately he has uh, seen that um, he will uh, get the highest net returns when the component t6 is there when he is using different enterprises now next paper next paper uh, is about uh, uh, the bihar it's a study of bihar and uh, uh, here it has been seen that uh, uh, different component has been taken and cropping alone it's, there's a, again a comparison between cropping alone and different ifs systems and different treatments are there when cropping alone is there then he is the uh, the farmer 
in the hectare he is just getting 60000 i have told you that 60 70000 is the most uh, uh, yield we get in the hectare from the this is the rupees in hectare we get from the crop enterprise and when we are uh, shifting towards when uh, uh, under this bihar conditions when crop fish duck goat has been shifted then what happens he, he, the double of former income is there from 682000 to 16000 is there now more than double so we can it's justify that ifs is sure and short doubling the former income and so that's very important for going forth all these enterprises next table it's talking about uh, karnataka the irrigated conditions of karnataka and again uh, it has been seen that rice rice is just giving the net returns of 17000 17000 one 17, 17, and when we are shifting towards this uh, um, different enterprises uh, uh, the uh, different enterprises are taken and uh, it's double uh, 17 and it's 23000 lagbhag like na total 1 hectare this is an, a division of 1 hectare area when the rice rice system along with along with uh, hybrid maize sunflower vegetable goat fish poultry more enterprise you add more you get net return but it depends upon the former income also it also depend former get more income more enterprise more in more initial cost is required now so some farmers do hesitate for going for more enterprises and take time to introduce one one enterprises adding more enterprises so uh, whatever resources the farmers have they use that and that that is another study of chatisgarh and it has been seen that uh, when we are going for uh, when we are judiciously converting 0.97 hectare area under different field crops vegetables animal husbandry poultry fishery lack cultivation organic manure azola minor forest produce then what happened net return has been increased to 2 lakhs next study please this is a, a survey study next please Uh, about uh, taken and it has been seen that uh, different uh, this is a survey study a farmer uh, study and it has been seen that the seven um, farming systems are there different different and the fifth uh, farming system fifth is more remunerative comparative uh, if you talk about farming system one where only crops and vegetables have been taken it, this uh, slide has been cleared with the next uh, hmm, what you say the table next slide please and uh, it means see the fsn1 when uh, but the land holding size you see because this is a survey paper and uh, 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 about four four tehsils have been taken and the study about 120 farmers have been taken here and so different land holding size have come here na lekin ye sare small and marginal farmers hi hain one is there fs4 when more than 2 hectare is their land holding size and mostly uh, the under uh, the land holding size is less than 2 hectare here and fs5 is more remunerative to ye bhi bada depend karta dekho FS five, FS six, FS seven. They all are farming systems. They are all are uh, in, uh, they inter uh, they are integrated farming system. They all they are, they have mixed their crop. But you see that most remunerative is FS five. It also depends how judiciously you are dividing your land or judiciously you took your things. So ये भी बहुत जरूरी हो जाता है ना. It's skill. So we said that skill and knowledge is required for establishing IFS union. Next slide, please. no i have chosen this topic because i am also a part of ifs because when i have joined the scos jammu then i am part of cropping system erstwhile that then that that uh, project is called cropping system no that has been changed to ifs now i integrated the farming system 2006 i joined and 2009 uh, they starting uh, there's a proposal of ifs and uh, till 2010 i am also a part of that because after that uh, the after that uh, i have been uh, transfer to another area and 2010 we have select these different um, system there and uh, here it has been uh, uh, you see that in the jammu this is the subtropical conditions of jammu and one hectare area this is a role model and it has been also appreciated by our honorable prime minister modi sir when he has uh, come for con uh, convocation um, um held um, in our uh, university and it is also appreciated by different ministers and uh, this is a role um, this is a main asset of our university also we can say that and uh, uh, so
so uh, this is the different uh, uh, allocation of area you can see that cropping system has been given the area of 0.38 this is the interwinting uh, rice based cropping system remunerative diversification crops have been taken and our paper has also been released about uh, the uh, diversified best uh, cropping rice uh, marigold french bean rice potato onion they are the remunerative cropping system there that uh, give uh, maximum uh, profit there and uh, food crops have been taken where we take uh, guava and mangoes and peach uh, kronda as a uh, border area we have covered the bunch with kronda also is there a fruit and we are also going for uh, post harvest technology for kronda and uh, vegetables have been intergrouped in fruit crops and floriculture marigold is mostly taken agroforestry has been popular plantation is there a lot of popular plantation and livestock unit uh, uh, cover dairy animals and biogas unit and vermicompost unit too and it covers the 0.08 hectare of area then there are uh, poultry and uh, <laughs> and uh, there are then um, what we say fisheries are there and uh, covering 0.1 hectare area a peri unit uh, or three boxes uh, start initially three boxes have been taken and uh, then green fodder different green fodder based cropping systems are there mushroom unit is there and we got mushroom button mushroom as well as dingri uh, and uh, but uh, it has been uh, um uh, in 1670 the the um, net returns are like 3 lakhs and near approaching 3 lakhs now i have talked uh, to the sir and he is saying that they are getting more than 3 lakhs now 3.5 lakhs more now uh, and uh, if if uh, we only uh, take a cropping system then it generate just 60000 and 70000 and you will see that here in this case this is the model which we will see which we have worked for that and we have seen that it not double but triple the former income so this is the uh, model of ifs ecrip ifs now next uh, you will see that not only uh, the uh, around the year we get the enterprise there are a lot of enterprise i have discussed in the earlier table and we have, we got uh, net returns round the year income generation by ifs matter round the year we get the income and this is the matlab if farmers is 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 uh, uh, having one hectare land is going for this model replica same model then he round the year he will get the income no no problem of money for him okay next next this is the table which uh, 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 next please this is the table which tell us how, how much money he will get tabular wise next next slide please okay and uh, yes this is the table of the same pie pie chart this is the table next next please so some success stories of uh, our replica model in jammu kashmir jammu and kashmir as well no uh, this is the next slide please yes this is the uh, uh, bloch din and uh, for name of the farmer and he has an area 1.2 hectare and um, uh, he was initially he was just uh, rainfed areas here na? and he was just going for what we say mixed farming we we, we say that he is going for mixed farming he has he is growing next slide please ha he was he was grow, growing crop livestock and orchard but they are not in the scientifically manner like crop is is only using at that time maize and uh, that one and pulses in mixed uh, proportion and when uh, we introduce we introduce crop diversification plan there and uh, uh, balanced fertilizer application recommendation of effective these are our intervention made livestock he is not going for ai then we have introduced ai there balanced nutrition vaccination deworming orchard is there but some lacunas are there then we have introduced balanced application of fertilizer um, uh, for uh, disease management techniques and spot problems uh, by introduced by uh, uh, inviting our expert we have uh, solved its disease problem also of the pest and some optional uh, units have been introduced which he has not introduced earlier like backyard poultry has been introduced one raja has been introduced vermi compost has been made mushroom has been no uh, grown there fishery is introduced there because it's a rain fed area and ponds are made and the fish has been introduced and uh, earlier he is getting 
less than 50,000, uh, uh, yeah, 50, uh, less than 50, and no, he's earning um, uh, more than 1 lakh, 1 lakh 20,000. So, doubling former income is here, you know, it's this one um, for different. Next slide, please. This is an also study of um, uh, Kashmir, where uh, uh, Ganai is a farmer and um, he has an orchard. Um, orchard and um, he has grown he is uh, using different apple varieties etc and rice is grown there and next slide please by intervening same interventions are made there um, horticulture has been uh, given up uh, interventions vegetables dairy unit poultry unit what is happening no uh, from initially he is earning just uh, 2.5 2.5 to 3 lakhs is his earnings no he has been earning 5 lakhs so doubling formal income is here these are the different case studies so uh, what we conclude next slide please last slide we can conclude you have you have also seen yourself that whatever the zone it is either irrigated either or rain fed either it is subtropical intermediate high hills whatever um, agroecological zone is there the IFS is a what we can sustainable alternate land use system and it's no doubt former uh, is getting is doubling his income when he is switching towards this type of uh, farming that's all thank you very much uh, If we have any questions for ma'am, ma'am, please, uh, you, people can unmute themselves and ask. Are there any questions? Please ask. You can unmute and ask. Mostly thank yous. Anyway, if there are no further questions, we can uh, consider the session to be concluded. And uh, uh, on behalf of the organizing committee and on behalf of uh, the participants, we express our gratitude to you, ma'am. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.